Once again, welcome to For Men Only. I'm Pastor Scott Anderson, and I'm glad we have this time together. Uh, really, this is an honor to be able to speak to you, uh, just you and me, and, and we'll, we'll cover some areas. I know we've, we've got real on a couple of things, and, uh, but I do want to look at something. Uh, I was reading the Bible, and in the book of James, he said he was talking about Elijah, the great prophet, and he said, Elijah was a man who had a nature like ours. And that made me stop and, and think, this was a great prophet, man. This guy, this guy prophesied there'd be no rain until he prophesied again, and three and a half years went by. This guy killed the, the, the priests of Baal. I mean, he was a bad dude. He had power with God. Uh, and I like that. I, I, I like being compared to that. But as I also read about Elijah, out of all the powerful things he did, he just seemed to have this connection to heaven and everybody respected him and that's what I want for you I want you to have a powerful walk with God uh, but it also says that at one time in his life he got discouraged and I think to myself man if I could call fire down on my enemies I'd be a I'd be a pretty happy guy uh, and, and all of the other powerful things that he did but at a point in his life he wanted to die that's how discouraged he was uh, and and God actually find him hiding in a cave uh, and, and I and I I know, you, can, you have a cave you hide in when you don't want to deal with life and when, when it seems too heavy. And, uh, but you've heard me say this in a, in a lot of my little clips here is that you have to be strong. You have to go through things. So you're not the most popular guy. You're going to make it. So he was, he was discouraged. I thought to myself, he's had more powerful things happen, positive things in his life than, than negative things. But, you know, life wears on you and tears on you. And you have to know how to recharge your battery. You have to know how to encourage yourself. That's why your local church is important. That's why your personal devotions are important. Uh, that's why you have to disconnect yourself from the things that drain strength from you when you can. But Elijah was like you. There was days he said, I just don't want to do it anymore. But because I am dad, because I am the husband, because I am the man, I'm going to get up and fight the fight of faith and build my life and do the right thing because that's what a man does. So don't quit today. Don't quit tomorrow. Ask God to give you strength and you can be an Elijah today.